Up for sale, 1969 Mercury Cougar Convertible. I'm gonna walk around it, take about the car, fire it up, and then drive it. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, and subscribe to the channel if you wanna see more videos like this. Thank you. Like I said, 69 Cougar Convertible, finished in gray with black interior. Super cool car, the way it was restored and finished. And as always, you know, I'm gonna go around and tell you everything I do know about it, point out anything I do see, fire it up, and then drive it. Uh, so of course, we will start here in the front. But before I do, just take a look down this side of the car. Look how straight that is. Look at this up close finish here on this nose piece. The finish of the paint on the hood, all that. I mean, this this is this car received a super high quality paint. And even down this side, just look at the fender. Look at that mirror finish that you got there. Nice. Uh, it's powered by a 351 crate motor. TCI C4 Trans, which is a great trans. I know TCI is a fantastic transmission company. Uh, power top, power steering, power front disc brakes. It's got Riddler wheels on there. In addition to that, just, I'm gonna call it a gunmetal gray paint. It's just fantastic. Uh, it's got the black hood scoop on there. Uh, leather inserts in the seat. But anyway, let's focus here on this chrome bumper. You see a little, a little like toweling marks right there, but as you go down this side, really nice and again that lower balance looks fantastic too um, again the fitment of these pieces I always boast about this sometimes they're overlooked uh, hood lines up on both sides of the fenders and it sits flush as you walk you know down the side and this lines up nice there as well so let's go ahead and pop the hood I might as well show you this side too your vent is in place, of course, where it should be. Again, 351 crate motor. Power steering, power brakes with front disc. Uh, headman headers. It's a polished intake. Edelbrock carb. And uh, you see the, the chrome Power Master starter down there. Runs fantastic. You see the little upgraded serpentine system there, or just at least this pulley for the power steering. Uh, braided fuel line. Nice, clean. Nice finish here. Original fenders. It's a Florida car. From looking at the uh, at the tag in the in the door, and it's a Florida title, so strong chance it's been in Florida the entire time. trans cooler it looks like it's the hideaways work as well which is always a bonus and just a cool look nice finish in the underhood those riddler wheels look nice revealing the disc brakes but anyway let's focus here and it's the beautiful finish all the way down to the bottom like look at that finish there oh my gosh there's uh, two dings, a little one here and another little one here. And as you go on down here, the only two other marks that I see is a little nick there and a chip. If I had the right paint, I would touch it up, but I don't want to throw a different color on there. Uh, but the fitment of the fender, fitment of the door to the corridor, this is beautiful all the way down here. And there's nothing here. There's no bubbles. There's not even stone chips down there. So there's only like a few blemishes on the car, those that I pointed out. And I'd rather just, you know, get it over with. You see this little, this dent here. It was at a parade, the top was down, the grandkids sat there, put a little dent in the back. Super unfortunate. Uh, but the other side is, from just memory right now, again, we're gonna go over it, mint. Uh, so moving back over here, you see how nice that door lines up to that fender. Door to the rocker as well, and up got tinted glass which gives it a pretty cool look and the spoiler on the back no cracks in the glass they go up and down as they should uh, it's the plastic back window and the top is super nice as well no rips no tears I did take pictures of it now that eBay allows you to post more pictures fitment to the uh, glass is excellent as well another nice thing just just a solid fitment here for the for the door opening and closing. Here's your Mercury tag here. I did take a picture of that. 
I like that tag there. It's, you know, a little attention to detail. But the finish is nice. And look, no painted over bolts. The lock's not painted over. The finish in here is nice as well. You know, when you look down there, that finish is nice. You know, finishing the door jam there is nice. And again, showing you the door panel. It's got the little carbon fiber accent here. You know, sometimes they do it. Sometimes it looks good, sometimes it doesn't. I do like it in this car. Aftermarket gauges, I always love those. Um, but anyway, here's your seat. So this is this is vinyl here, and then this insert is leather. You can see the little wrinkling, which happens. Uh, it's got the correct carpet in there, which has been redone. A little bit of carbon fiber there with the door ajar. That actually works, I think that's neat little carbon there they put a speaker in the dash but the dash itself is nice see a little mark there but no cracks in it digital odometer eight track player led zeppelin is in there that's cool personal preference i would have put a different shifter and this is probably the original one I feel like every, oh, you couldn't see it. Everything else is, you know, nice or redone. And then this just, you know, shows its age. I feel like for what, the cost of $100 to make that brand new would just, you know, move it forward. I don't know. Me being picky. Um, it's got exhaust dumps, which I believe this is what they are because that looks like the top switch there. So let's start her up. She's been sitting here for a while. Let's see. Oh, other way. That's cool. And the exhaust on its own is sweet. Oh, it's got exhaust dumps coming out underneath. This looks nice here as well. I like the door panels. I like the back seat, which doesn't really look to have been sanded too much. And again, with the leather inserts in there. And another thing I love, let me grab the key real quick for the trunk. Top frame, painted, all before the uh, cloth top was installed. So that just looks even nicer when you're sitting in there. New visors as well. And uh, we will show the top go up and down a little later on when it's running. Your spoiler, which looks, you know, installed recently, I would say. Bumper in the back. Just as nice as the front bumper. You see two little marks there, but just as nice. Let me go ahead and pop the, pop the trunk for you. Thank you. Uh, you got the trunk mat in here. And then I did notice original quarters, which is what you want to see. And then underneath the uh, mat here is the insulation, which is nice. The liner. And then there's, you know, your original, no, no rust, nothing like that under here. What you want to see. I know I'm kind of blocking it, but definitely how you want to find it. Because what did uh, Mercury and Fords do back in the day? They rusted. Okay, and here I show you this side. Let me peel it up. Nice, clean. Same deal here. Super nice. I'm not really looking at my, my camera, so I'm hoping that I did show what I was looking at. But... Uh, you see a nice finish in there as well on both sides. You see a little stamping there on the lid. That's pretty cool. But anyway, we uh, will close her up now. Again, look how nice that fitment is there. Look how nice this fitment is here. So this side, let me see here. Nope, that came off. Those all came off. Again, you know, really no stone chips there. I want to refocus my camera. Give me a second. I think it worked. But just look at that. Let 
it's smooth around here. Again, I haven't pointed any out because there are none. There's no bubbles. Look at the fitment here on this door to the quarter again. That's nice. Looks great all the way through. Again, nice finished here. No painted over bolts, not painted over. The light works. You got a little bit of carbon and fiber as well. There's that seat. Again, a leather insert. I do like where the exhaust dump switch is mounted, easy to access, but not in the way at the same time. We'll be up for sale later today on my website, nextgenclassiccars.com and eBay. Both links will be in the description of this video. If you'd like to check it out, let us know. Look how nice that fitment is there. 69 Cougar convertible, finished in, I'm going to call it a gunmetal gray with black interior. 351 crate motor and a TCI C4 automatic trans. And just again, look at this fitment there that crisp edge all the way down and then look at this it's just silky smooth finish all the way to the bottom and there don't forget the regular wheels those look sweet on here but anyway we are going to fire her up now and then drive it thank you okay
it looks amazing when it drives by.